Welcome back once again. I believe we're on turn four. So let's go ahead right jump right in and go ahead and resolve the AI's card. So number two and four we're gonna discard from the bait shop. And in column number three he's gonna take from bottom to top. So whatever this card is, he's going to go ahead and take it. And I think it was pretty bad news for us. <laughs> okay, so he's already got 23 points and we have nothing. So we would definitely have to pick it up uh, if we don't want to, if we want to even have any hopes of winning. No, I mean, we're only on turn four, so we have plenty of turns left. So, but we just, we definitely need to pick it up. Okay, so let's look at my hand. Um, first off, I'm going to use this scan card. Uh, let's see, I don't think I have anything else. No. So I'm going to use the scan. Let's go ahead and look and see what this one is here. Uh, oh, okay. It's an, this is a, an event. It, there's nothing there. So I cast it and nothing was there. And the directions say to replace it face down in the same spot. And if you're using the reservoir setup, you, you remove it. So we're going to flip it back over. Now, of course, we scanned there. So if, if there was an event that told you to do something, like discard a card or something like that, you wouldn't do it. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and flip that back over. So we know the turtle was right there, and we know that there is a, a blank here. So we're going to avoid both of those two spots if we can remember. And again, there was a 10 green, I think, 10 yellow, 8 yellow something. And I believe there's a 6 red here, but I can't quite remember. So now we'll go into the cast phase. And I have a black lure. Uh, and I'm going to have quite a bit of power this turn, so um, let's go ahead and play our Lure Attractant, which gives us one power, angular power, and we get to draw a card. So let's go a one. Now oh, we got a yellow. Okay. So right now it looks like we have three power in play. In my hand, I have two. I have uh, seven, so that's a total of ten power, um, which is plenty. Um, to now we can sort of use our power here, our fishing guide power, to go after this one again, since it's not going to be sixteen; it's only eight. So if I can get five more power, which I can, I've got three there and two here. Now let's see, I got boat and a obstacle icon uh, now I'm going to be extending myself a little bit but I'm going to go ahead and try it once again so I'm going to play that pull for a total of five six seven eight power and I'm going to play the brown I mean the black worm and we're going to go right back for at this revealed fish in my hand I have two different icons that I can uh, potentially avoid. And so hopefully this time we're going to get more lucky. So, and I'm, again, I'm able to do that because of this trait card. Normally you wouldn't be able to, and that's what the traits are for. They're going to give you kind of everybody's going to have a unique trait that gives you some advantage that everybody else doesn't have. It makes it kind of uh, kind of fun, and, and every game you're going to have something different. So let's let's see what we get. Let's go ahead and grab the dice over here. Let's give them a good roll. And see what happens. Okay, so we got a blank, lost a pole, and a boat, which is great. Great, great, great. Because if I look over here, I can discard that pole to subvert the, um, the boat result there. So I'll put this card in the discard pile. And uh, as an aftermath, I do lose another pull. And it turns out if I want, I can lose this rod here. And this one says, if this is a fly rod, you lose it if a hooked fish is six power or higher. This is an eight power fish, so I'm gonna lose this one as well. And so I could be thinning up my deck really well here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of both of these. And they're, they're gone. Uh, and I think one thing you can do is you can actually delete these cards and get them just they're gone forever uh, you don't even have to worry about them anymore 
the game is gonna when you restart the game it's gonna refresh everything anyway so you might as well just delete cards if you don't need them so to get them out of the way um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, where was I at so oh another thing is I just forgot is this worm also is lost if you cook a fish successfully and so I have really thinned them out my deck extremely well um, let's go ahead and delete that card uh, and we finally have a fish in our live well I'll go ahead and put it over here so we got eight points as opposed to 23 so round four was was a good one for us and we were able to um, get a nice fish there so let's look in our hand to go into the buying phase um, we've got only got one buying power we'll look out here this one costs uh, excuse me two three and three so we can't buy anything and remember in this game you cannot just discard cards just because you want to so we're going to keep this in our hand um, because we can't use it to do anything. Now let's go ahead and move into the cleanup phase and we'll go ahead and refresh the bait shop. I'm going to draw back up to, looks like there's only one card left in the deck. So let's go ahead and flip our discard pile. Oh oops, I believe this card goes in the discard pile as well. Let's go ahead and shuffle and draw three cards. Um, I think that's it. So we did refresh the base shop, draw back up to five cards, and discard everything in play. Yep. Cool. So that was round four, and once again we did catch a nice fish, and so we're we're starting to catch back up with the AI. I'll see you uh, for turn five next.